Pull in for a car wash and roll out with drugs. Employees at a Roseville business are arrested, accused of using the car wash as a way to sell heroin and marijuana. That's just what police found during several weeks of undercover work. Jermont Terry talked to the manager who hired the workers, who tells us he's just as shocked by the arrest. Employees and the manager of this car wash were completely caught off guard when police stormed this place on Monday. Now, three longtime employees were arrested after they apparently sold drugs right underneath the manager's nose. The manager tells me he had no idea any of this was going on. As Don Dolan buffs out scratches on this minivan, he's hoping to wipe away the shock and embarrassment of this week's police raid. I said, what's going on? They waited and they told me, they said, well, we're investigating for heroin. I said, you got to be kidding me. Roseville police arrested three workers. They are accused of offering more than full service at Master Car Wash. Apparently they were just using it as a drop-off point. Uh, the employees were. Uh, people would contact them and they'd either run next door to the gas station or they'd hand the drugs over the wall at the rear of the business. Police received word the workers would sneak out the back garage and sell heroin and weed to people. Thinking back, Don would wonder why these guys took so many breaks. I, I chased the one guy down, oh, where the hell yeah, where the hell yeah, I'm looking for him, you know, and he'd be gone, you know, so, but it just didn't dawn on me what he was doing. It's believed the workers used the car wash on Gratiot as a front for months, but Don admits they worked here much longer. One, three or four years, uh, the other one a year and a half or so. Police insisting the manager and owners did not know about the illegal drug activity. If I would have heard anything, I would have got rid of them or called the police myself. Now, Don admits that they do not do background checks on any of their workers. They just try to give the guys and girls an opportunity for a second chance. Tonight, he's hoping, despite this arrest, his loyal customers come back for a car wash. Reporting live, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Any idea, Jermont, how long police were watching this business before making the arrest? Yeah, Carmen, apparently the Roseville police started this thing back on September 22nd and it ended yesterday. So we're talking nearly six weeks of them potentially watching this place and they say they were successful in getting drugs on more than one occasion. All right. Arjamon Terry reporting for a slide.